hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to add google maps in your windows application forms in c sharp so let's get started i have this blank project made and in this project first of all i will go to the toolbox and i will search for the split container and i will drag and drop here so I have two panels in this split containers which I will use this bigger panel I will use for showing the map and the smaller panel I will use for entering my search data second thing I will uh, take is the web browser and I will drag and drop in this second panel this web browser and now I will take two text boxes actually you can take text boxes according to uh, your requirement for example I'm showing you uh, how to search street and the city you can search street city state and zip code and whatever latitude longitude whatever you want to search you can search and then maybe i will add the labels so label one two three and four so i have four labels and i will quickly change the names of the labels so i have changed the name of the labels one is street city then state and then zip code and in the same way i will change the name of uh, these text boxes so text box street then text box city then text box state txt underscore state and text box zip okay so that's done and now I will take a button which I will click to search my data so this is the button and I change its name search data and I will change its text also search okay so I have everything available now I will click this search button and double click it here and in here let me make it bigger so you can see so in here I will write my code so first of all what I will do is I will make a try catch block so in this button click event I will make this kind of a try catch block so write try and then catch exception and in the message box I will show if any ex exception I will show the message and I will show this as error and in this try block first of all let me um, take all this data from the text box in the string so I will declare string string street first is equal to text underscore street dot text so this is the data which I'm getting from the text box okay so I will just copy it four times for city state and zip so city 
state zip and here also city state and zip file not zip file but the zip code now in this try block what what i will do is i will make a string builder so i will write string builder and here i will pass a query address so i will write query query address is equal to new string builder okay and here bracket and bracket closed and now i will add to this string query so this is a string and i will add uh, this string so i will write query address dot append once again query dot address dot append and in here i will write the address of google maps in which we are going to search so this is the primary link which uh, we are going to use from the google maps so i will uh, write here double quotes and in this i will pass this link so write http colon slash slash maps dot google dot com slash maps question mark q is equal to this is our primary link and in this link or url we are going to add our search data okay so this is our link so write this and just below this we will give a condition so write if street not equal to string dot empty then what we will do this not equal to will come here so street so whatever data we are taking from the street text box if it's not empty then we will add in our query address the street so write query address dot append and in the bracket we will pass our street string so copy this paste it here and write plus double quotes and in this write comma and plus or you can do it like this also double quotes and plus okay in a same way i will copy this if condition for city state and zip so i will copy this and paste it three more times one two and three and earlier this was for street now we will make it for city so second is for city is not empty then we will add city name and then the state so third is the state here and fourth is the zip code so fourth is zip so we have street city and state and zip we can search street or city or state or zip or either of them or all of them you can use so this is the simple code for search or showing the map and searching the data in the google map using c sharp let's run this program and let's see if it works or not so i run this 
and for example I want to search city Frankfurt Frankfurt so it search and when I click search it should show search me the data So nothing is happening let's see what's the error so I found the error in this uh, try catch block I have given the URL and all I, I I'm searching the data but I'm not passing this URL to the web browser so what I will do is after my if conditions all my four if condition just below my if condition I will pass my URL which is this plus the search URL so I will write web browser which is this web browser so just go there and copy the name of this web browser and then write dot navigate and in the bracket we will pass our query address so write query address dot to string okay so now it should work so I forgot to give this lines so it was not showing the data in the web browser let's run the program once again and search for the city Frankfurt Frankfurt and click search and now you can see you will be able to see the search Frankfurt city in the map now if you want to search some street in Frankfurt so for example I want to search the Zeal street in Frankfurt and I will click search and you can see so many options in Frankfurt city for the, the street Zeal in the same way you can add uh, the name of the state you can add the zip code and search the data so I hope you enjoyed this simple but very useful tutorial and keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now